Start by mixing the bread flour, instant yeast, malt, the first sugar, salt, cinnamon, eggs, and milk on low speed for five minutes. After the five minutes is up, add the butter and then mix on medium speed for 15 minutes or until the dough pulls off the bottom of the bowl. Transfer the dough into a sprayed bowl and let it rise covered until double in volume. To make the sugar paste, or also known as the pasta, take the shortening and the second sugar and cream it until very light and fluffy. Once the mixture is very light and fluffy, scrape down the sides of the bowl and add the all-purpose flour. Then you can mix it until it completely is combined. The mixture should be slightly sticky, but still more like a sugar paste. Divide the pasta into four equal portions. On the first one, you're going to add cocoa powder to make it into the chocolate pasta. On the second one, you're going to add some yellow food gel or any food color you have. The gel is preferred to make the yellow pasta. On the third one, you will add pink gel to make the pink pasta. And for the fourth one, you're going to just leave it plain. It'll be the white one. Once the dough has doubled in volume, turn it out onto your board. Press out the air and fold the dough. Once you have folded the dough, you can divide it into 50 gram pieces and roll each pieces into a tight, smooth ball. Rub a little bit of shortening onto the top of each dough ball so that the pasta will stick and not come off. To put the pasta on top, take a piece of the pasta, roll it into a ball, and then flatten it into the palm of your hand. Place that over one of the dough balls and then press the ball down so it flattens the ball and the pasta spreads more evenly across the surface. Then take your cutter or a knife and stamp the top to put the pattern on top. Here it is again one more time a little bit faster. Proof until double and then bake at 340 for 25 minutes.